Bonjour. How are we all? I just noticed, oh, thought about my DR not showing on the screen. How are we all, folks? We all good? We all well? Oh, the DR down to 82.6. I thought I'd go up tonight. We are going to be probably be doing both races. Yo, Ralph. Bonsoir, 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 bonsoir. So, yes, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm still on the hunt for the headset. I'm still on the hunt for a light. I'm still on the hunt for a monitor or TV, um, which is why nothing's really changed here. Um, but good news is, oh, I suppose it's not good news. I don't know. I don't know if it's good news or not, actually. But um, my thoughts about a TV and monitor were true um, in the fact that there isn't one that suits my needs. So I don't want to invest a massive amount into a TV. Sorry, I'm messing about with the blooming rig here at the same time. I don't want to mess about with a, a TV. Ah, get in your pleb. Ow. Uh, yeah, it should do okay, Henry. Um, and it need upgrading, basically. So uh, I'm going to rethink my TV options, basically. Uh, right. We are going to do some time trials. Then we're going to have an open lobby. So a time trial for like 20 minutes. Then an open lobby. And then we are uh, doing the race. It's 9 o'clock, the race, I think. Let me just double check that, just to be sure. Just so I'm not... An idiot. Yes, nine o'clock. Obviously, after this week, yeah, this is the last Wednesday that these times are like this. But in fact, this is the last. No, because the next round, it's gonna all change, isn't it? Let's just double check. Yes, yeah, so next Wednesday, the race is at eight o'clock, so we'll be happening now, and then twenty past nine. So we'll be racing eight and twenty past nine. We got it. He said, pleb, drink. I actually got two drinks here. I'm still trying to get the Coca-Cola down. I've got two more cans after this. And then I've got my flat layer in the fridge just because, yeah. Uh, and then I've got a glass of water. I just realized I've not got the light plugged in. I accidentally just pressed the stream off, folks. Apologies for that. I thought I pressed marbles info, but uh, I accidentally pressed stream off because I'm a pleb like that. So apologies for that. Um, let me just... Plug the light in, which is what I was actually doing. There you go. I'm a bit brighter now. Tiny bit. But uh, yeah, I'm on the hunt for a light as well. Uh, what is your best friend exactly? So, yeah, next, next week the race will be starting now, technically. So, uh, just FYI with that. Uh, but we are going to jump in with the Subaru. I've been using the Audi for two days and a lot of mileage as well. Oh, going zoomed in. Let's zoom out a bit. Um, so, I suspect I'm going to have to learn how to drive this car again. You haven't played GT since Fugu. Really, Nick? I don't blame you, to be honest. Because uh, some parts of it aren't fun. I'm, act I'm actually enjoying it at the moment. I'm enjoying time trial in Majore in Daily Race C. Oh, it's too addictive. Too addictive for me. Uh, it really is. Right. So, B race is top. Uh, Giorgio's in the highest FR car. So, I'm going to use. Do I use Giorgio? No, I'll we'll just use B racer. I'm racing B racer on Daily Race C as well. Uh, thanks for the weekly guide. No worries, Sam. No worries at all. Glad it's helpful. Yo, Jan. I'm doing okay, mate. Uh, I'm doing all good. So, soft tyres. Obviously, we're only doing one race if we win it, but I doubt we're going to win it, so we'll go again. You're finally at AS. Don't want to lose it again. Oh, fair enough, then. That makes perfect sense. Uh, my brake balance normally zero. I can't remember this car. Oh, yeah. This car's much different to my Audi that I've been driving. Race seat all day and got... Yeah, you get a huge amount of DR from doing FIA races versus daily races. Oh, okay, yeah, I've completely forgotten how to drive, apparently. This is not very helpful. Turn my volume up a bit. Minus, no, it's not minus one for rotation, it's plus one. Just a couple of goes and we'll be there. So yeah, I'm, uh, I've been driving Major, uh, Majore GP in reverse and daily race C. Should never have left Audi. I do enjoy the Audi. It really suits my driving style, the Audi. Okay, we stopped the car this time. But I've noticed from doing the time trial at Majore that I have lost speed. Obviously, this year I've not really try-harded that much. 
compared to other years, so I've lost a lot more speed than I normally would. Um, so, yeah, it's helping me just get my speed back up, basically. Laguna! Exactly. So, we'll just do um, about 30 miles worth, and then we'll get the lobby open. Oh, that was too deep. Your motivation's been dropping, ghostly. Uh, I'll interest that in one second. Approaching the uh, the bottle chicane, as I nearly did. Can't bother going again. The, uh, the the thing is, the mindset you have to have with Gran Turismo, especially versus a lot of other games, is that you need to just forget about the previous race and go for the next one. And sometimes that can be really hard. And you know, sometimes I look at it and I go, I cannot be bothered. But sometimes you've just got to put it to the back of your mind and just go for it. So, we've got a 21.4, we need to get that down. This is a much better lap already. Even if we don't finish it. Third gear through it. Well, well, we'll see what it is when we get there. Again. So I'm doing my old trick. Get the start of the lap right and build your lap going forward. Come on. And you see we are off. So let me just go again. Need a 19 for decent... Okie dokie. It's good to know. Alright, let's go, go, go. That's true, Nick. You do need breaks in this game sometimes. I'm enjoying Daily Race C, I've got to say at the moment. Just time trialling. Uh, in fact, so much so, uh, I haven't got content planned for most of the week, to be honest. Um, so we'll see what happens in terms of content. I am actually going to sort out this cabin this week. Um, I was meant to be off all week, but I've worked technically two days now. Um, and some of it's not even been work, it's been weird. So like today, I was on standby basically, so I was just sat at the computer waiting for phone calls. It was very annoying. Um, but the next two days I do have off, so um, fingers crossed. Uh, and get the cabin sorted. A living room sorted. The uh, the merch that I've uh, been talked about previously. One of those ideas is coming to fruition, and then the second one will be done shortly because there's two pieces, not just one. Definitely third gear, Kieran. Good shout. Oh my word, that was terrible though. What on earth was that? Yo, mid pack. Hey guys, and Titch, really struggling here tonight. Anyone, any advice on brake balance to use for the Porsche? Porsche, I would go maybe minus one at the front. Porsche is quite a bounced car in the grand scheme of it. So, uh, yeah. My jeans are like doing weird things. It's annoying me. I don't normally wear jeans, but uh, I went to the uh, shop today. I hate wearing jeans, in fact. In fact, I didn't wear, I didn't even own a pair of jeans until university. Oh, that was terrible again. We're not doing very well here. I'm going to go plus one here, I think. Definitely the Audi driving style does not work for this Supra. Because <laughs> that is what I'm doing at the moment. Oh, dear. It does mean I'm going to have to get back used to the Audi if I want to beat B Racer, but we'll uh, we'll uh, look at that after tonight. So there's three people in the world at the moment in the 54s. I am one of them. B Racer's obviously top, as you're aware. And then you've got Nico Rubla. Nico's Rubla. Um, who is. Well, they're both in point eight. Oh, too deep. This car feels ridiculously fast for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because we used Group 4 here last time. <laughs> Drive about pants. Next time on Tid Streams. 
I'm just trying to get an initial feeling for the car. We'll then obviously have an open lobby, and we've got our first race, which is a, more of a practice race, and the second one, which is going to be the official race, and hopefully where we can get a good result, but we will see. We're not even in the 19s yet. That's a penalty, surely. Yep, penalty. His jeans confirmed as merch. Nah, if it trust me, if it was clothes merch, it would be three quarter pants. And Jimmy Broadbent has already said, said this two years ago, that he would own some. Because I am known for three quarters at the events, mainly because they're very comfy to travel in. bad. Yo Stock Car Racer, you okay? Sorry if I miss any messages. Laguna's not very stream friendly to be honest, I've got to say. So yeah, in terms of TVs and monitors, obviously I was after 4K 120 or 144 hertz, uh, HDMI 2.1 enabled, but there's, there's, there's nothing, nothing exists. Uh, 32 inch as well, nothing exists. Um, so I thought that was the case, and you guys started throwing some options to me. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I've uh, not looked properly. But no, I, I, I'm right, There's nothing exists. So apparently there's one early early next year coming out, but obviously that would be ridiculously expensive because nothing exists in that market area, so I can't go for that either. So, um, yeah, I'm going to rethink my monitor choice going forward. It's probably going to be 4K60 for now. Which technically I already own in the house, so I might just use that. But we need the PC first of all. And we're just waiting for Ryzen 5000 to uh, launch itself on November 5th. Oh! No! Yo, Sabre, you okay? No, get round, Tidge. Get round. Yes, I did see the new LG. It's just unfortunate that's 1,500 pounds. In fact, weirdly, the 48 inch is 1,500 pounds, but the 55 inch of that TV is 1,400 pounds. It's a, it's cheaper to buy the 55 inch than it is to buy the 48 inch. I assume because of that issue, well, the, the reasoning that you know everyone's giving the 48 inch is just on that limit of being a gaming TV slash monitor. But yeah, the LG, or is it the CX? I can't, I can't remember what it's called now. Of course I use miles per hour. British. No, I, I haven't, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's either to do with RAM um, or my hard drive. Now, my hard drive is a M2 SSD, but it's only 500 gig, and I've used most of that memory as it is. So, if for any reason it is then trying to store, um, store it elsewhere, because I don't fully know how iRacing works in terms of its memory usage. Um, that could be bottling it. I would say it's a bit weird how in iRacing, um, during the race, it was fine. And then, like, obviously, the first issue happened two to three hours into the stream, basically. And 
obviously turning race labs off then it happened six hours so it extended the life by double basically but that still says something is being stored and then it's hitting an issue or bottleneck of some kind I just don't know what that is yo Blade you okay so 197 now still miles behind B Racer here Oh, that's terrible. Loads of time in this lap still though. Absolutely tons. Oh, too deep. Too deep. Too <laughs> lady picks stored. It's only 500 gig, so... You know, you got all the Adobe suite in there. You've got... OBS, one or two games, it soon adds up now, nowadays, 500 gig. Your teacher won't stop coughing. Um, I'd wear double masks then in that situation. I'd wear a hazmat suit. Yo David, see the GT7 teasers? Sorry, I just saw your message up there. Um, about the GT7 coming soon? Uh, well, my guess is uh, going to be towards the end of 2021 if I'm to guess anything now well they're gonna do two things one of two things um, they're either gonna say okay uh, we need GT7 out before the next official season if they're gonna do another FIA season which then would suggest uh, March April May sort of time or and this is based off what Kaz has said in conversation uh, it's weird saying this when we were at the, 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 the dinner table, basically, when we were in Amsterdam, which was that the FIA Championships would, uh, there would be um, an overlap between GT7 and GT Sport in terms of the championships still being run. Um, which suggested to me originally that it would be sort of towards a world final of some kind as in like the finalists would use GT7 rather than GT Sport and it would give the finalists uh, the fir fir first chance to play it play on it essentially uh, another ghost doesn't affect me at all doesn't bother me I actually think it's uh, a helpful guide for me to personally But yeah, uh, I suspect that whenever or if World Tours happen again, because obviously I don't know for a fact that they would happen again, um, I suspect that that's when you would first see it actually being used uh, before it's out. But obviously if Covid exists for all next year, which I suspect it will unfortunately, that's not going to be the case if they want to release it next year. But I expect, I expect that was the original plan. I'm doing terrible here, and 19-2. They said GT Sport. Yeah, I've always said that would be the case, so it's it's the most logical sense. So you make GT Sport playable um, on PS5, and then obviously that gives you time to get the game right. GT7. The other the other thing as well that uh, I mean, John has mentioned it the other day, and I completely forgot about this, is that the PS5 could offer. I say could, you know, I'm not saying it will could offer an advantage to racers who race on the PS5 for GT Sport. So you're probably going, how does that work then, Tidge? So, in a lot of racing games, um, and it's happened in the past as well, so if you remember back as well to uh, when we had the two uh, regions of games for like Gran Turismo, uh, was it PAL and NTSC, is it? I can't remember. Whatever it is, the two separate ones. Basically, sometimes times will be faster on one than the other. And games will run faster on the one on one than the other. So obviously, if the PS5 come on GT Sport and you could play, say I'm on the PS4 because I don't, I haven't pre-ordered a PS5, uh, and I'm racing someone on the PS5. If they have faster frame rate, in theory, they potentially could get faster lap times than myself. Say so that's all theory, but you know the theory is there. 
and that has happened on other racing games in the past as well. Yeah, B Race is a beast full stop. It's been actually, it's been amazing actually, really, to see B Racer uh, progress. Like, because uh, if you think back to 2018, B Racer uh, wasn't wasn't sort of there in terms of uh, speed, and now B Racer is very much there. Absolute alien now is B Racer. Oh, I just pleb that one completely. Uh, frame rates do make a lot of impact. So even if irrespective, say, let's just say frame rates don't impact lap times. Because that's what I'm talking about here, just lap times. I'm not talking about grip or anything else, just lap times. Let's just say it doesn't happen. Um, having a much smoother gameplay uh, and potentially a faster frame rate. We don't know which games are going to be 120, um, etc. But even a smoother gameplay will actually help you catch a car better. So the best way to look at it is actually what Linus did recently on that LG video review um, is he showed that you know 360 hertz you get presented with the image quicker. Now if you can see visually because it's what we use as racers or sim racers or, or whatever you want to call us, if you can visually see your car oversteering quicker than somebody else, in theory you should be able to catch it quicker than that person as well because you can react few milliseconds before they can. Now if anyone remembers Mo Immortal Pilot back in the day, GT... Oh, no, I have to question myself here. GT6 was Immortal? Yeah, and GT5. Um, he, he had the same opinion, exact same opinion about uh, frame rates and, uh, you know, being able to drive the car perfectly. Yo, Arcot, you okay? So I'm going to I'm going to start the lobby in a minute. I do want to get in the 118s though, to be honest. I'm pretty sure this car can get into the 18s. Oh yeah, a uh, higher frame rate, irrespective, is better on most action-packed games, racing games, FPS. That's better. I can tell I'm still used to this Audi, you know, uh, rather than this Subaru. I'm expecting the car to do certain things and it's just not doing it. That was better. Oh, what, what, what was that oversteer? My word. I'm going to put it back to zero, I think. How did it go on the Fugu last round? OMG. <laughs> back concentrate. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that tag this morning. Wasn't it P2? It wasn't a win, it was P2, wasn't it, I think? Well, that's actually a question I have um, in terms of free sync and stuff. Because obviously, some TVs only support free sync, some only support G sync, some support both, uh, and that's another thing. And I also want to know in terms of resolutions, because as a compromise, rather than get a 4K, I was thinking of 1440p, but I can't because the PS4 doesn't support 1440p. So the image looks a bit dodgy. Let's put it that way. It's probably the best. Uh, best way to put it. Um, so I wanted to know if the PS5 supports 1440p. And I don't know the answer to that. Oh, concentrate. Whee. Oh, look at that spike. It does that sometimes. Very annoying. Yo, Rory, you okay? 
the Ferrari is a B racer, which I'm assuming is close to the world record. I'm not 100% sure. I just want to get a bit more consistency for this lobby because I'm still not there with consistency. I oh, don't be sorry, Saber. Yo, Luco. But I would really like Sony um, to release supported resolutions. That would be super, super useful. I know the Xbox supports 1440. Apparently. Ah, oh, these bloody sausages. They're annoying. Multiple money to support. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I probably... I doubt it. Unless they go down the route of the old PlayStation 3 where you needed three of them to do it. But that's painful. A 90, I'm not even in 91 in time trial. So I say I want to get in the 18s. I think we can do that. What was that? Come on, Tidge, you pleb. I'm so consistent I spin every lap now since wheel. Oh no! Practice. Practice is key there. Practice is key. No, no, the open lobby is for everybody. The only time it's limited to friends is when it's a community event or, uh, or a special event. And there's been invites that have gone out. Yo, Todd, you okay? That is very true with the Ferrari. I'm just not driving this Subaru right at all. It, it feels off to me. I don't know why. It just feels weird. It feels like I've got too much grip, which is a bizarre thing to say. I'm going to go try and two. Do two. bit better again. I don't know, it just this car just feels weird now. <laughs> Driven the Audi for like eight hundred miles or something. This now just feels like alien. Three and a half temps. That's a slight improvement, but you think the Subaru is a mistake? Uh, not really, but I, I, I'm the Audi just suits me. I, I, I do prefer MR. It just suits. Me. Seems to be better as a driver. Oi.
We are getting a bit more consistent now though. Maybe it's the grip bug. <laughs> Where's Jomas to instantly uh, hit me with that grip bug? Did that slight improvement. So another attempt there, easy. Yeah, we could definitely get the 18s. Another temp. Come on. Temp now to go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, that was terrible as well. Oh, no. It's all going foul. Yo, Custom Bricks, you okay? Yo, Justin? Uh, will you uh, are you facing any lag spikes at the start finish line? I've completed a lap. Um, sometimes you'll get that following the ghost. It's the game loading the ghost. That's not necessarily you uh, or your machine. FR is your kind of ride, Kieran. No, not for me. Consistency is key here. You are quite right. Ghost position has been reset. What? So uh, yeah, we'll go for another lap now. So I want I want an 18. I think if I get an 18, I'll be uh, happy with pace. Pretty sure we can get it. Definitely send the time there. You know me, I see time. My vision is actually the matrix. Down, just down. That was too slow. Too slow, Junior. Alright, one last go and then we'll kick off an open lobby. Yeah, Ferrari is a good manufacturer, to be fair. Yeah, races at nine. Um. I can't take the Audi now, unfortunately, because we're already in Subaru. But, uh, yeah, race is at nine. Oh, that's the other thing. I need to sort out something, actually, which you guys will be amazed at. Um, yeah, to do with Audi. And no, it's not an R8. Wish it was. Could you can imagine if Audi just go, uh, Yeah, Tidge, we heard you like an R8. So if you race for us, we'll give you one. Like, ah! Yes, please. I love you forever. Okay, that was not a proper go. One last go. Where have we heard that before? I don't know what the strategy here is, Justin. We're going to find out shortly. Yo, Baz, you okay? No, they haven't sponsored me. That would be a dream. Oh, look at that Optimum. So close. Okay, we can use third gear out of there next time. See, I don't like braking for that right, but... I'd say the Subaru feels like it's got too much grip there, which is a weird feeling to have in a car, because normally you struggle for grip. That was terrible. Might be able to pick it up at the corkscrew a bit more.
That was a jumping off. I think that was our fastest court screw to date, but everything else was pretty dire. Yo, Koziak, you okay? 92! Come on. Slow! Damn you, Titch! Damn you! Oh, okay, let's go make a lobby. No refuel. Okie dokie, that's good to know. 19 to 21. How far off are we then? Oh, okay, we're actually. Uh, oh, okay, top 10's actually 19 0. I thought it would be a lot closer then, but it's not as close as I thought it would be. Okay, we're not as far off as I thought. Okay, it's good good to know, I guess. We can definitely get an 18, 100%. We'll try and get it after. Try and get it after. 14th. That's not too shabby. Got a laugh in there. In fact, it's going to be the laugh. No, it's not. It's the Honda. The Honda. Uh, now that work is back in the office, I have no time to practice anymore, so I'm just not getting faster at this game. Um, well, I suppose you just have to try and maximise any time you do get on. Um, so when I don't have a lot of time, I try and just pick out even 20 minutes somewhere and just focus even on the sector. Um, okay, I don't even have the room, so I don't even know why I'm trying to load it. So let's pick one out. Uh, Laguna, Laguna, Laguna. There we go. Look at that one person's got it. Room info. Stolen! Fifteen minutes. Uh, well, we've got a bit longer than that, don't we? Oh, no. Well, fifteen minutes will do. We can have some, uh, go at, um, qualifying. Um, what? Give me practice for the qualifier. I I can't remember how to host a lobby here. It's been a while. Right, uh, Tisney's hashtag flawless manufacturer. Uh, I can go to B. 25 lap race. Wow, it's uh, quite a hefty one. Right, save. Boom, job done. <clears throat> Yo, Khalad, you okay? Hello, Manu Gas. Oh, good night. You're saying good night, Manu Gas. You're off already, mate. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh wow, we got some big guns in here. Windfire creases in here as well. Oh, awesome, Ryan. Good to race you, mate. Blair's in here. Nikki's in here. Back on since Fugu now, then. <clears throat> Let Quebec in. I just noticed that one. Yo, Fusion! Drip some vodka in that coat. I do have a, um, a small bottle of vodka left, actually. Um, but we'll save that for a fun stream. It's been a bit of a dreadful night. Oh no! That doesn't sound good. Now, fuel shouldn't be on, I think. So I, I want to get used to some quality laps here. I think it's going to be best. 
Uh, especially if we're on the sauce anyway for 20, 25, uh, 20, what was it, 19, 18, 18 to 21 laps, I think we said. So if I can at least get used to the soft tyre, the medium should be easy to adjust to. So we'll, uh, this car feels so much better already. Maybe the time trial just felt a bit weird and bugged. So the car just feels better now. It feels more natural. I don't know. Bizarre. Skull crusher all over my trumpet here. So if a sauce la lasts that long, are we talking two flying laps then? And I'm pretty sure we're not going to need slipstream here. I'd be surprised if we do. Too deep. Ah, what a horrible start to a lap. Oh, you're Quinton. Oh, okay, that makes sense then. I don't know, it just felt really weird. It felt like I had too much grip on the front, like, quite badly as well. Oh, John is nearly. We've decided to go rally cross in here, I think. Oh, school crusher. Going all sorts of sideways there. Yeah, it feels better now through that left. I was struggling with that in time trial. It really was. It just felt weird. Too deep again, Tidge. Oh, Trey's in the barrier. Windfire with 97. 98. I'm not too far off then. Windfire, of course, in the Hyundai. Loves that Hyundai. Now, Windfire does a lot more of the bot tests than I do. I've not done a lot of it lately. But uh, Windfire's done it like three or four times in a row. So if you are curious about balance of cars, check out Windfire's stuff on YouTube and the laps he's uploaded. Because he, do, he does do a lot with a bot. A lot more detailed stuff. Like he did do a 30 laps at Fuji per car. Okay, we're not, we're not, we're, I think we're only talking one lap here. Maybe, I don't know. Yo, Vortex Louis. A 19.4 is a good lap. Okie dokie. That's good in to know that. Thank you, Ryan. Windfire 1010. I couldn't remember his YouTube name. Quality guy, though, Windfire as well. Been to a fair few world tours. Uh, sure, I did 91 in Asia quality earlier in Subaru. Okay, that's good to know. So that's the pace of the Subaru then, a 19.1. So I've been driving Audi non-stop the past two days, so jumping back in the Subaru is a little bit weird to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'd say it's more for the mine. Mine's more of a summary and then the bot test at the end. Well, that's what I wanted to go for anyway. But I've not done it recently, of course. I am tempted to just absolutely nuke through a bot test and just give you one video at the end of it just so you've got a bot test. But I'm wait I'm waiting as well on that four GT7 uh, announcement of when it's coming out. Because there's no point doing 30 hours of a bot test for then GT7 to come out the next day, for example. Uh, there really is no need for that. It'd be a waste of everybody's time. Again, too deep. Oh, I'm in 
third gear. Why am I in third gear, you pleb? Oh no, it's TX. Thank you for for the look. That was terrible. Have an enjoyable evening. Oh, come on, Tidge. Come on. I got my tenth down already. So we are missing a lot of speed at the moment. You know what, I'm going to keep it in fourth there. I'm not going to change to fifth. I mean, that's cost me a little bit of time. A borderline penalty. I'm not sure whether it will be or not. Nope. I knew it was borderline. You're rapid. Not oh, fair play. There's a bit of time then. We knocked some off there and it wasn't the best. Oh no. You're rapid. Come on, get round. Not good. I think I need to maintain 110 there. Still not good. Not doing very well here. At all. Breaking a little bit earlier than should. In the wrong gear again. <laughs> Alright. Oh no no no! Wrong button! No! <laughs> oh, I did it again! Oh dear! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, oh dear me! Oh. <laughs> oh no! We'll we'll do some of it. We'll do some of it. Just go out, boys and girls. We're not going to do the race, but uh, yeah. Uh, you doing a one v one? I got asked if I wanted to do one. They always do that. They need to move that button. They need to move it. Oh, concentrate. Right, what am I on here? I don't know what to do brake balance wise in this car. It's just... uh, in the race, I'm probably going to use zero. I'm pretty sure from memory. The uh, Subaru likes to chew its rear tyres a little bit. A little bit more than a normal FR car. Does anybody know if that 19 won by uh, Shohei uh, was in Slipstream or not? I'm curious. I want to know exactly how far I'm off. Obviously I've jumped on tonight in terms of practice so I won't be as quick anyway irrespective. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the ultimate pleb. We all, we all know this. All right, let's see what we can do here. Too deep. No slip. Okay, that's good to know. Ooh, that was... I don't know what kind of line that was, Tidge, but it was a line of some kind.
Do you know what his sectors were, like sector 1, 2 and 3? Wee, almost it. That was a better left-hander. That was better. Too deep. Had to bleed off all the speed then. Love the exit on that one. Oh, he's in the Mitsubishi. Oh, okay. That should be similar, in theory. Uh, 19, no, that's not too bad, actually, because that wasn't a good lap. Cheers, shoots. Oh, I've just pled that completely. Oh, what a pleb. So, we'll probably get another two quality laps in, and then I'll uh, quit this. Sixty nine lights. Happy days. Yeah, I'm gonna miss the sausages. A kag is in a beat. What? What? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> I've never seen a kagi in anything other than a Mazda. Oh, we're off. <laughs> Yeetle. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get rid of all the dirt on the tires. Oh wow, fair play to Akagi. I remember when I first what saw Akagi, IRL, like him driving, using his right foot only. Superb to see. I'm two and a half temps purple, what? I was it till that moment? Oh my word, I was absolutely mullered that one. And that one as well. Oh, rip. Just lost three temps. What's kicking off there? Let me have a look in a second, folks. David, you legend. Thanks so much, mate. Home from work early. Get to watch it live for the win. Wow, we still improved. Okay, we've got time in this lap now, then. We know we've got time, but we can't stay. We've got to go and join the actual lobby. So we've got time now. I can see a point six there, possibly a point five. Cheers again, David, by the way. And, uh, Blake, you legend. Hello, my friend. So just a reminder, Blake's the one that has designed and done all the website stuff. Uh, so the website now works. Thanks to Blake, the legend. Race entry. Here we go.
I mean, yeah, I, like you saw that I lost three temps and I still improved on my time and it was still a 0.9. So I lost three temps in one sector and still got a 0.9. That tells me 0 0.5, 0 0.6 is possible for me. Uh, we, well, if we don't win this race, what we'll do, we'll do the next race as well. Um, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that, I heard that earlier, Ryan. It's pretty mad. Yo, Nick, you okay? I'm going to commit. You're going to get a 0.5, uh, 4, 5, 0 ish. Oh, Ryan! That would be interesting. Uh, Gaz, yo! Hi, Tidge. Looks like I made it just in time for the race. You did indeed. You did indeed. Uh, I'm all good. I'm all good. Are you going to carry on with the nations? Or are you just leaving it at your point eight? I mean, you're on, right, Nick? <laughs> I won't toss it by <laughs> 10 seconds. You have to hold it for 10 seconds. As, as I was saying earlier, it's kind of awesome to see how B races developed, and he's he's a very uh, nice person as well in real life. Oh, because of the chicane. I. I I, I see I've only had a quick go at it, which you saw on Twitter. Um, the chicane I can completely understand because sometimes you can leave that chicane and probably absolutely launch off it like anybody's business and be fine and sometimes you'll spin. Uh, I prefer daily race C time trialling so I'm going to do that this week. Yo, Rigger, I'm all good. You okay? Oh, I get it stopped, Tidge. Oh, that's better. I'm going to hit the sausage. Try that again. Ah, good to hear, Riga. The S4 you to hear. Reminds me of back in the day when I was on the pad. Uh, it should be alright, I think, Nick. I don't fully know. I'm trying to get back used to a Subaru, because if I'm, like, truly honest, um, like, I'm so used to the Audi from the time trial I've been doing recently, I kind of forgot how to drive this car. You drive so bad. <laughs> you were doing alright in the lobby, to be fair. You're beating me anyway, when fire. <laughs> uh, in daily race here, I was, yeah. Whether I get it now, I don't know. I can see, see, I can see the world record time. So, like in sector one, I've been a tenth and a half quicker than B racer. Uh, I've been quicker in the, sh the hairpin, so the second sector. Third sector, I've been quicker than him. Uh, the last sector, I have not been quicker than him. Um, but it was following his ghost that I realised that um, he was cutting more of the left. So I can. S so where I said to Constant was a 54.6. I think there's a 54.5 now available doing B races line in that corner. But to nail it all perfectly at, at Majora GP in reverse is stupidly hard but it's good fun I enjoy that track uh, da, 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 da. you do 93 94 like clockwork oh really uh, sheds not chilly there is a radiator here but it's on for an hour in the morning and that's it so uh, yeah uh, da, 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 da. Maxime no I haven't or Maxim Sorry if I miss any of the uh, the chat. Uh, 
But yeah, I do love my Joy GP in reverse. Oh, it's such a good track. Such a good track. I've had such good races at live events at that track as well. Max. Okay, we'll do Max then. We'll do Max. Ba -da -ba -ba. Koke repaired his SR. Why? Where was Koke? Oh, I thought Koke was just in the top split earlier. That's so three six two. I think I'll take anything third or higher. Actually, maybe. Maybe I'll do it again. I don't know. I don't, we'll find out. I guess. Yo, Ray, you okay? Titch for the dub. I don't know. Don't think so. Not yet. Maybe the next race. Why have you streamed four or five dislikes? Um, I've no idea. Sometimes I don't get any. Um, it's up to the people how they like the stream or dislike it, I guess. The only thing that annoys me is that if someone dislikes something, I'd love, I'd love them to tell me why they dislike it. Even if they just said they hate me, that's fine. Then at least I know you hate me. Uh, and I'd recommend not watching me again. But... Um, I hate when people just dislike for the sake of disliking because like I like to improve my streams and my content and, and stuff on the go so you might have noticed I've been testing thumbnails I don't know if you like them or not I'm literally trying to merge them into uh, the YouTube background but obviously with YouTube double theme I can only merge it with one of them um, so I was just messing about with them recently you hate me no Hello, darkness, male friend. Yeah, it's all the swearing I do. <laughs> I'm going to get punted here. No, I thought Xbox was going to just absolutely launch me. <laughs> I hate you like I love you. Woohoo! Is Xbox going to launch me now? Yeah, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I knew! I knew I was going to win a target! I knew it! <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, dear. I just like because you didn't win. <laughs> no! Oh. The lighting for this, by the way, will improve. I'm literally... That's my next job. It's like my Amazon basket has a light in it actually um, for those that are like oh your camera sucks the camera can do 4k it's the lighting that sucks <laughs> no Wi-Fi code in here terrible lobby that is so true Wi-Fi code is a legend Joe you know it'd be good if Gran Turismo like put like just on a banner or something like Wi-Fi code or this is the Wi-Fi code or, or something like that. J just as like a funny reference. Your camera sucks, Tidge. Learn to play, Tidge. You're the worst driver ever, Tidge. We've got Phil the Power Taylor in this one. Look at that, P4. He's a darts player. I think he's called Phil Taylor anyway. I'll probably just like... <laughs> all the darts fans now, they're going, You what, Tidge? What? What's going on? <laughs> Alright, okay. Let's concentrate a little bit here. Let's see what we can do in terms of laps. I'm not sure I want Slipstream to be honest. Alright, let's see what we can do, boys and girls. I'll be racing one, you okay? Terrible. What on earth was that?
That was quite good. Probably could have done that a little bit better though, but it was quite good. Could have done with straight lining that a little bit more. So we lost Koke in the first half of the lap, but we caught him up a little bit at the end of the lap. So, oh, okay, yeah, 90, well, there we go. We improved slightly. It's not a bad start. Fastest lap of the day so far. So, good start. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I get so close to those sausages. <laughs> I say we messed up the start of the lap there, I think. And then the, towards the end of the lap, we could definitely see we were catching Koke again. Start of the lap, we definitely lost Koke, so... Um, definitely more pace in us. Loops? Loops is in front of me. That is Loops. Tidges, I did just the right sausages. I just saw that one above the Tidges on fire. Yeah. I'd, I'd like a, a faster warm up lap here, to be honest. People are going for slipstream here. I don't think you need slipstream. I think there's enough time in the lap where you can nail it, to be honest. Okay, let's go. See what we can do. Looking for that point one in sector one, I think. Not going to get it now. Absolutely pleb that one. Continue, see what we can do. Might get lucky towards the end of the lap here. Oh, that was close. Oh, that's a cut. That is a cut off. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Stream shouldn't have paused. I can, Quinton. Oh, wow. Maybe you're carrying more speed, though. The Subaru isn't known for its speed. Look <clears> at <throat> this for a close quality session. This is a tenth covering four drivers at the front there. Made that five drivers now as uh, Max has just jumped in the, the middle of that. Look at that. Look how close this is. This is mad. Look how close I was going. <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm reading chat. I was reading chat. I'm going to have to go again now. <laughs> Don't read chat. What a moron. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally like, this is a left hander. Let's read chat. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, dude. Oh, brilliant. Smooth operator! I am a, I am a legit plebatron, Ryan. I'm the ultimate pleb. Don't want to get increased his weight here. Oh, okay. Get out of the way. Oh, he got a penalty. That's unfortunate. So I should get two laps in here. Maybe just. I don't know. Yes, just. Too deep. I'll get that first set to right at all. The sausage. Cheers, Creaser, by the way. Which breach? Oh, it was a terrible end to the lap. Oh, that would have been it. I was so. Ah, oh, yeah, living bleb. Okay, we're 19-4, that's a good lap. No! <laughs> oh, we had to push then, we had to push. Oh, so we definitely had a... Oh, <laughs> look at that! Oh, look at that! P5 to P2. Look at that. That's point zero three two. I don't hit the sausage is going to be my big thing. Stop mediums. I don't know, you know. I don't know. P5. No, I'll be stuck in traffic. Cause it's only five laps, isn't it? On the mediums, then you're on the softs. And you're going to end up stuck in that traffic then, trying to come through, because they're all going to be on... Um, they're, go they're gonna all be on old tires, so no, I don't think so. Twitch chat, yeah, oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine? Ah, oh, I'd love that. So no, I'm gonna stay on softs for this one. I think I'll get used to the uh, softs. Times two tire wear, look at that. You don't see that very often. I like low tire wear like that. It actually means, you know, with uh 
Um, we've actually got a proper race without uh, some weird multiplayer making an impact. Yeah, good luck to you as well, Max. Do 19 laps. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking maybe a, an, an early pit stop, get on the mediums and try and do some form of undercut maybe. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen in the race. I could die from a sausage. Anyone in front of me could die from a sausage. Eh. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Exactly, it, it varies. You've got to really just look, look after your tyres. I've never used the mediums as well, so it'd be very risky to do it at the start. Very risky. <laughs> I like that, Blake. Can you imagine if they put reason on the gravestone? Uh, you know, rip tidge. Mounted sausage. <laughs> reason. Reason of death. Sausage. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. I'm sure you're not, Adam. I'm sure you're not. I don't hear many people revving. I didn't think it was a fuel race. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rev it anyway. Oh, Coco's revving it. Okay. Death by sausage. The devil's number there. Six six six. Fuel burn. I want to be in that car. I want to be in the Audi. Well, you got the, oh, look at that. The Subaru does look nice, though. Boom, boom, boom. My Lazarus. Yo, Ben, cheers, mate. Here lies Sausage Magnet. Sausage of death. So we definitely have um, a, a much quicker time in us here. <laughs> death by Sausage much less... Pleasant than death by snoo snoo. Fill the power, Taylor! That is the Darth player, right? I have no idea. I have no idea how many laps I can do on the soft, so I'm just gonna play it by ear. I, I honestly don't know. I don't I don't practice for these events. I should practice for these events, and I am going to in the next season. Not a lot, like do like an hour beforehand somewhere. Um but uh, yeah, in current season I'm just turn up and race, basically. Good luck for your race, mate. There's Sergio. Well, yeah, we'll just play it by ear. Because obviously if we're stuck in a traffic, uh, we'll certainly be able to uh, save tyres. Uh, and if we're not stuck in traffic and we can belt it, we'll belt it, basically. Uh, I'm going to turn that down, though. Will! Woo woo! It's the sound of the beat. Will, will, it's the sound of the beat. Well, let's go bowling turn one. Who are we wiping out then? Do we wipe out all four drivers? That's a strike in my book. Somebody went deep then, I don't, didn't see who that was. This Subaru is so slow on the straights, it's hilarious. That's a much better corner than everybody in front.
Yeah, I want to sort of use high revs to burn fuel. That was a terrible exit. What on earth was that exit? Tidge loses slipstream. Tidge is back in slipstream. Yeah, do you remember that uh, superstar race here? Was it Calster? Ended up losing it. Somebody hit somebody, and then uh, I got a huge penalty for it for no reason. I think we're losing touch with Koke here. We're definitely losing touch with Koke. Max has gone deep there. Ooh. Bit of contact there. It wasn't on purpose, for sure. It's just uh, GT's bouncy physics. I can't overtake on the straight, so rip to me. Somebody's on mediums in the middle of the pack, I think. Don't know who it is. So the Audi will start coming to us anyway, because the tyres on that will start to uh, destroy themselves very quickly, I imagine. <laughs> I even had the overrun there and I still can't get past Ryan. Then Ryan, you jammy bugger! I was so close. Yeah, the burbles do sound good. I would be surprised if that Audi doesn't come towards us in this race. As tyre wear wears on. Maybe even Ryan, Ryan's a pad user, so we, Ryan should come to us as well here a little bit. Now we did say third, and we won't race again, so... We'll see what happens. And when I mean don't race again, I just won't do 
Oh, oh. <laughs> Ryan, how close are you getting? Oh, there's contact further back. Gun's gone. Uh, but we'll do daily races basically if we uh, get into P3. Stopped, round we go. Ryan has been so close to dying how many times? To be fair, we are catching loops as well in this. So you never know. Oh, hey! Eliminate it when you just clip the gravel like that. It's horrible. Uh, Sparks is coming in that Supra. Oh, sorry, my Elgato just like then. I just saw that. Oh no! I'd stop. Oh. What that was for? It's a bit weird. Did he slightly touch Max there? I saw my Elgato stop in the uh, the right of my screen. I know it. I know it wasn't the game because I carried on racing at all. So that'll be up into P4 then. So close. You might keep that position, you know. Now he gets all sort of sideways, but we'll take that. That's a that's a gain. Yo, Mark, you okay? I'm not taking risks. Uh... Oh my word, what was that? My car just decided it didn't want to stay on the track anymore then. You have to be careful of this Corvette going down the hill. what was going on then. Let's not remove them off a bit, but we should be fine. Ryan just... Oh yeah, they're teammates, aren't they? Right, okay, let's concentrate. Point two behind Koke. I'd 
stop the brakes are doing that. That's cost me some time. Oh man, I pulled a Ryan. I pulled a Ryan. So we have increased the pace a little bit here. Box just nailed that then. That was a good corner. Needed that. Really did need that. Oh, too deep, Tidge, too deep. Oh, too deep, way too deep. Better. Should be right behind that Audi. Mess that up. Oh no! Oh, nearly went. Nearly, nearly, nearly. I'm trying to push on here because he's right on my trumpet. Audi's off. Render slap. Carrying enough speed through these corners. That was a better corner. Oh, that was good. that up a little bit.
Oh, that's better. Can I not do that every lap? Better. I need to catch this Audi. Oh, that's better. Can I do that every lap, please? Ryan's already in the pits. What's going on there? Else it's about to defend this hard. God, I didn't make a couple of mistakes earlier, it would be right in the back of that Audi. wrong. All sorts wrong then. Wrong to go to first gear then.
Oh, you're enjoying this fight, folks. It's like I'm trying to chase down P3. And I've been hunted at the same time. But it's a good battle. I've actually enjoyed this one. Oh, I got that wrong. Oh, Spot's going to get a run on me. Yeah, I can't defend that. Good effort. Ah, sorry, Sparks. Go, 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 go. My rear sort of went on me then. <laughs> oh, dear me. I, ne I nearly pulled it back. <laughs> nearly pulled it back. I'm going to use Sparks now. I'm going to use Sparks to try and um, jump the Audi. I'm not actually trying to fight Sparks there. Sparks have just done what I did. Tell you what, that was a hell of a battle with Sparks. We'll see what we can do when we come out the pits. If I didn't lose the rear slightly going into that left, I would have actually probably got that position, but I just lost the rear. And just tapped Sparks, and obviously I didn't want Sparks to go off there, so you know, just let him go a little bit. Wow, big jump on the mediums there. Big, big jump. Oh, actually, it's not as big as I thought it was, actually. South Oz, Oz, come through here and I'll read it. Legend, mate, I started 14th, but, oh, you finished third. Well played, mate. That's a good effort to come from that, that position. Oh, I need to get used to the grip on these mediums. I'm not used to them. Cheers again, mate. Oh, I got the rear. Need too many mistakes here. It's got a few laps to go, though, so. Yeah, Koke lost a lot of time there, I think, did he? Oh, no. No, he didn't. That was the uh, start-finish line being a, a pleb and telling me wrong information.
Oh, Sparks is pushing. Sparks is pushing hard. Oh, the Audi's off. Not quite. No, not quite got the acceleration there. Twenty point nine. Okay. Now I know the time in the medium, so that's good to know actually for the next race. One hit. Oh, <laughs> living on the edge. Do you actually feel more comfortable on these mediums than on the softs? It's weird. Kays are uppercut. Ledger, thanks so much. I'll give that a read on the start finish straight, mate. Don't worry, I can see it permanently, so it won't disappear off my screen. For your first Rin. Uh, Rin? What's a Rin? Win because of the driving school. Absolute legend, mate. Glad to hear that. Anyone new to the stream, I do have a driving school out. Which isn't actually finished yet, even though it's been going for like three years. Um, so check it out if you are struggling with any aspect of GT Sports. Oh, Spark, my word. Go Chimpanzee, you okay? Limit sausage. Got that wrong then. Just lost two temps. Start the pace down the straight here. I had the overspeed again on, on another driver there, Sparks. He just starts pulling away at the very end of the acceleration. Oh, 
We only slip though. Yeah, so I need my brake balance towards the rear next time. I lost too much in terms of the front tyres during the uh, first stint. That was borderline penalty. Look at that, just nailed it. Huge diving coming! <laughs> I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. Good race though, that was a brilliant race with... Um, <coughs> brilliant race with uh, Sparks. Uh, good, I don't know how long that battle went on, but it was quite a while. Quite, quite a while. We are going to go again, folks. It's only P5. 82.6, we'll remember our DR as well, see if it goes up a little bit. Yeah, cheers for the uh, donations during that, uh, Sal Foz and uh, Kaiser. Or Kaiser. Uh, there was a couple of mistakes in there, but um, you know, as I said, I, I haven't practiced for this, have I? In, in so much done a race stint or anything like that, so I, I, all I can do is be pleased with that. Uh, brake balance to the rear, coach group. No, I have my brake balance to the rear then. So basically, I'm just going to plus one rather than zero. That will make a, a quite a significant impact in 20 laps. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely go again. Um, I, I can see the speed. I, I mean, even on the mediums, then at the end, I was catching sparks. So obviously, at the start of the medium stint, I just wasn't there because I've not used them before, so. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it was a, a really good race with sparks out. That's the kind of racing I want to race. You know, it was. Um, Close, it was fair. We had side by side racing. What else can you ask for? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, that's the kind of racing you want to see. Uh, where's Sparks? <clears throat> see you, Rigger. Thanks, mate, for tuning in. Watch the sausage riding. I will uh, definitely watch out for that. We've got, we've got to get our quality time up a little bit here. Oh yeah, congratulations to Quali, uh, Quali to Koke as well. Is the WRX similar to the Evo? It will be similar. Uh, I've not driven the Evo that much to be honest, so I can't really comment on it. Uh, morning Tidge, watching from Sydney mate. No racing for me for a while. Compressors. Oh no, sorry to hear that mate. But good eye mate. Down under. Did like Sydney when I went to it. It was a nice place. Just your um, traffic lights with the pew, 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 uh, crossed in there were quite hilarious. Oh, we gained 500 DR. We're definitely going to go again then. So next race is in 20 minutes. So we can uh, do an open lobby. But yeah, that was, uh, that was some good racing. That I enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Start P9 finish. P uh, sorry, start P19 finish P9. Well played, Nick. Well played. That means your DR may have gone up again there, surely, Nick. Um, let's just reset this. Uh, my library. Uh, yeah, we've got enough space there. I need to sort through all it. I've got so much to sort through um, in terms of content and weird stuff that I've got to do in the background. Because, you know, doing streaming and content creation isn't just all nice and dandy. You got to store it, library it properly, so you can retrace your steps if you need to. I don't know why I've just done that. It can be a pain sometimes, but there we go. Right, so I'll make the lobby. I'm gonna nip to the toilet for obvious reasons, because I've just done like two hours and not gone to the toilet. World record for me. Uh, so I'm gonna be back in just a moment. Hopefully the chat works on screen. I don't know, uh, but I'll be back in just a moment. Best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless.
Yo, folks, how are we all? He's back. We've still got places in the lobby if you want to join, folks. It's because it's a longer race, Nick. That'd be why. Oh, dear me. Right. Uh, what's kicking off? Anything kicking off anywhere? Nope, we're all golden. Happy days. We like that stuff. Speaking of happy days, Happy Meal joins the lobby. Yo, Baron, you okay, mate? Right, so I'll, I'll have them on sauce here. Eh? Yes. Yeah, so, um, obviously, as the race gets longer, um, you're going to get more SR. So, SR is per sector. It's a bit like iRacing, where it's per corner. Um, in, in Gran Turismo, it's per sector, basically. So, literally, because you do more sectors, you're going to basically get your SR higher. That's why Daily AC is normally the place to get your SR up, if you need to get it up. If you weren't being a slacker at work... Oh my word, you're working? What? <laughs> I'm playing. I meant to be off this week and I've worked. Ripper only to me. Uh, let's go to one. Right, so we got 19.6 earlier. I'm pretty sure we can get into the fours where Koke was. Oh, not by doing that, I won't. Am I crazy picking the Z4 next season? No! Nah! At the end of the day, you, you, want, you want to enjoy the game how you want to enjoy it. You know, it, it doesn't matter what car you pick at the end of the day. If that's what you want to enjoy playing, you enjoy playing it. That's better. A point one. A point one sector one. That's what we didn't get in the last quality. Unfortunately, I think we might catch Gekka here. Yeah, unfortunately we're going to catch Gekka in the wrong place. Just put a banker down and then we'll try and beat it. Blah, 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 blah. Right, we'll try again. So we got a point one in sector one there. So we could definitely, 100%, get in that point fours. As we have a Fanta liveried M3, is that? No, it's an M6. I was going to say. Very brave. Sheldon B. You can definitely tell I've got smoother with a car tonight, that is for sure. Oh, cheers, y'all, mate. You didn't have to do that, mate. So let's get this uh, low 19 that I know we've been close to getting. Clip the apex there. Oh, 
I broke too early this time. Why have I got different break-in point now? That was terrible, that. I need to not change to fourth there. That's costing me time. Somebody just left or did something then. That cost a few frames. Which is that frames per second issue I was talking about earlier. But th these are free freeze frames. This car is starting to feel better and better. That was terrible. Dodgy exit. One eighteen, one nineteen. Okay, so we lost a lot of time in that one as well, so that's good to know. We can get nineteens pretty, pretty bang on all the time. Z4 does well in the wet. Imagine that. Well, it does because it's an FMR. How is the Subaru? Um, it's alright. Um, uh, it's just getting used to it. I've driven uh, the Audi a ton in the past couple of days, so you know, jumping into this from the Audi is very different, especially when you've been uh, like at the limits of the Audi as well. Um, it's yeah, it's bizarre. With a 23 one, you get a 19.5. Uh, now I could definitely get a 19.4 here. Uh, definitely. I just need to uh, not pleb it, basically. I pleb that corner, you see. That cost me a load of time up the hill. Um, I'm, I, I'm still debating what, what gear to do this corner in. I'm still not 100% sure. I feel like third maintains my mid-corner of speed, but... Second just feels like I just get more turning and it's more aggressive. I don't know. Alright, let's nail turn one now because we keep plebbing this one as well. One five five. Cheers, Blet. Oh no, blebbed it. I blebbed it. Give me one second, folks. Adam, you legend! Unitage, last hours of my birth, about to treat myself to some Fanatec gear. Frank Trudeau machines, very entertaining and informative. Absolutely no worries, and happy birthday, mate! Let's wish Adam a happy birthday in chat, folks. Fire them in chat. Happy birthdays for Adam. And, um, yeah. Congrats on the Fanatec gear as well. I'm a tiny bit jealous of uh, the Fanatec gear. I've used Fanatec myself, obviously. I'm on TGT at the moment, but... Uh, yeah. Um, Fanatec CSL Elite I had a while ago. There we go. Well played. Well played, chat. Well played. Happy birthday again, Adam. Uh. 
Happy birthday to you, squash tomatoes and stew. I can't remember if they take the Mickey song. But happy birthday to you. Hey! <laughs> Good night, Ralph. Thanks for tuning in, mate. <laughs> My boss needs to go home early more on Wednesdays. That is very true. I love these longer races. I think they're great. Get a win for Adam. Oh, well, that's putting pressure on. We, we never know. We never know. We get, we're building up our pace. So we can definitely see, Mitchy. We can definitely see. Just a bit too deep. That's a lovely line through there. Oh no, we blebbed it. Oh no, no. See you, Fusion. Thanks for tuning in, mate. You'll take a podium. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's aim for a podium. I think we can get a podium. I mean, there's a chance we can get a win. You can get a win in any race, to be honest. But, um, yeah, podium, I think, is uh, very realistic. Narnier. So it's quarter past. This is our last attempt then. And we'll sign up for the race. So the racing next week will be very different. Because it'll be an hour earlier. It's because the... Uh, so for those that don't know. Uh, I think it's about 27%. That's a very precise number. But I'm pretty sure it's 27%. Uh, of the world uh, will change their clocks next week. Or roughly around then. Daylight savings. I know Asia definitely don't do that. Um, but yeah, we change our clocks. They go back. So all the races start an hour earlier. Oh, is that, is that let me go then? Oh, cheers, Langster. Legend, thank you. Ooh. Going to sleep, Chem. No worries. See you, mate. Enjoy uni. Just got put off a little bit by Schizo there. I was hoping he'd uh, dart out the way, but unfortunately didn't. Uh, Koke is so strong in Laguna. He was even on World Tour flying in the race and overtook a lot of guys. Yeah, Koke is good here. In fact, quite a few of the Spanish drivers are good here, weirdly. I don't know why. <laughs> sleep? I have a toddler. What is sleep? So, um, yeah, it's, it's not my best track, Laguna. Um... With a bit of practice, I'm alright at it though, because I have had a couple of world records here. I'm just thinking about it. But, um, yeah, if it's Majore C. Oh, Majore. Majo uh, sorry, Majore GP backwards, sorry. In da like Daily Race C. Keep calling it Majore C now. Yo, Sam. I'm all good. You okay? Because just look, look at this. Look at this. I don't know what it looks like now, actually. Oh, yeah, so we're in the 54s. We're a tenth behind B Racer. <laughs> I'm second and fourth. Do you know what? I actually, that time actually was quicker than I thought it was, to be fair. Because it took me two days to beat my own time. Isn't Laguna Seca Spanish for dry lake? <laughs> Coincidence. I think not. 
<laughs> uh, I love Majora GP Reverse. I don't know what it is. The track just suits my driving 100%, and it suits the Audi. So Audi plus track that suits me equals ah. Uh, I'm probably not going to stream that now, Rapid. Uh, what I will do is I'll stream maybe a time trial effort at Daily Race C uh, to try and beat B-Racer. I was going to do the Nations thing, like try hard it. Then I heard people saying about the handbrake and I was just like, eh. Then I sort of started late, and then I saw the leaderboard, and I was just like, I can't really be bothered. Like, I don't know, there's just something about it, I was just like, ugh, can't, I don't care, sort of thing. Uh, yo, Dave! Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you did Lego Majora, uh, I did it twice, Mitchy. so... Um, me and um, Aug, I didn't forget his name then, I was thinking of his first name. Remember his PSN. So me and Aug, obviously, uh, we got a trophy at Salzburg, and that was one of the tracks, Majority GP in reverse. Uh, we got a trophy for Peugeot, and then uh, in Tokyo, um, we drove it as well. So that was the race when Porsche won the championship, but when five cars ba basically convert, if it was one more lap, that race would have been absolutely mental. Because you had me on softs, Mercedes on mediums, Toyota on hard, Porsche on soft and BMW on hard. I think that's how it was. But basically we were all covered by nothing. So if it had one more lap, that would have been mental. We had a deal, boy. The people voted. Yeah, but I also said on the stream that if they use the handbrake, I ain't trying. Uh, I'm not getting involved with the handbrake. But yeah, I, I, honestly, I uh, I don't know. There's something about that track. I, there's certain tracks that are good for me. Catalonia, I'm always rapid at Catalonia. So Catalonia, obviously, was another world tour um, track. So that was in the, at Madrid. And literally, after the first quali lap, I was P1. I was ahead of Lightning, Fuvaros, everybody. And then literally what happened, I would have actually got P2 in qualifying. But Fuvaros, uh, the sneaky bugger, um, I'm good friends with Fuvros, by the way, so uh, I'm, I'm having a laugh when I call him a sneaky bugger. Um, if you remember the old penalty bug, where you cross a line with a penalty, it still counted the lap. He did that and jumped me by a hundredth. I was like, ah, you bugger. But there was a possibility then that maybe I would have started P2. Maybe, maybe that would have all gone very differently, but unfortunately it didn't. And yeah. Trump, Trump me. Why am I Trump -ney? Oh, that's not in relation to Donald Trump. Oh, is that because people voted? Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. I get you. I don't know why I just did that then. Oh, Matty! I didn't see you in chat there, mate. You alright? No, no, no. So it's the nation's time trial, yeah. It's a bit awkward as well because, like... People said they wouldn't use the handbrake and they quit it if they... So Storm, I think it was Storm. Storm said he'd quit if people were using the handbrake. Then somebody started using it. I don't know who. So then everybody started using it. So then, yeah, then it all kicked off again with... Ah, oh, honestly. I, I'd rather not get involved in that sort of drama. I'm just like, Wee, you guys go for it, man. I don't really care. Uh, my chances of me qualifying anyway for Nations uh, thing is very remote. When you have the likes of Fuvaros up there. I mean, look, look at e Eagle's P6. Or was P6 last time I looked. He was, um, he was ahead. So it was uh, Parata, Storm. No, Parata, Fuvaros, Storm now, I think it was. And then it was... Was it Dojo? Then Shooter? Eagle? Spider, Manu Rodri? I think that was a top eight. Don't quote me on that, though. I think that was a top eight. Yeah, well, I, uh, th the handbrake thing, it, it, it's like uh, GT Academy 2013. So when, when that was the year I qualified for GT Academy boot camp. Obviously, I qualified every year bef before that, but this is when I got to boot camp. But 
that year, people were using a handbrake there as well. And I specifically said, there's no way I'm using a handbrake. I thought it was stupid anyway. Uh, and I do think it's stupid to some extent. But at the end of the day, that's what's in the game. So that's what people will choose to use. It's like cutting the track. You cut the track as much as you can because the game allows you to do it. It's like handbrake. At the end of the day, the game allows you to do it, so you use it. Is that when, um, what was, which driving assist was it? When that was a big thing in the game and everyone started using that and I refused to use it that, that then as well. Well, that's a big cutting point. We need first or second here to equal what we got earlier. But again, it, it's like, it, it's like um, using that. You know, some people will use it, some people won't use it. At the end of the day, it's your choice as an individual. If you feel like you are cheating a system or you're cheating your own lap, don't use it. If you feel that like you should be allowed to use it, use it. Up to you. Personally, I dislike it. I dislike the fact it's available. I'm not going to have a go at anybody who uses it because it's available to use. It is what it is. It's like um, the Suzuka Chicane. You can cut that a lot. I've always said you can cut that a lot. And I've always said in the game, if the game allows you to cut um, a chicane like that, then you're going to have to cut it at the end of the day. It's racing. You know, if in real life, just would went, oh, yeah, you can cut that. You're not going to go, oh, I'm not going to cut it. Everyone else is going to go, oh, happy days, I will. Oh, what's that, Mitchie? Uh, not using required tyres. Yes, exactly, Mitchie. It's, a, it's the exact same principle, because I came P2 in, in my race in that, and uh, the winner didn't stop. I think it was Doctor, Prima Doctor. But, you know... It's it's that person's choice. If they feel the only way to win is to abuse the ch uh, the system, um, and they feel that's a legitimate win, that's up to them. You know, at the end of the day, you saw everybody else in my race that I did in particular. They all pitted, and then they all said at the end, "Oh, Tid, you are the true winner in this one." But again, that that, that that's up to the individual. It's not up to me. I, I can't make the decision. If the game allows you to do it, the game allows you to do it. It's then your choice whether you do do it or not. You would in real life, exactly, but we're bound by the physics of the game and the world we are in in the game. So, it, it just is what it is. Like, tyres wouldn't be times two in the game. Uh, in real life, would they? They'd just be in the game. Unless they're Pirellis, of course, which are times 50. Cheers, Mitchy! <laughs> Turn four, uh, that's the right onto the small straight, right? Dead, dead, dead. But yeah, is it, as I say, it's like, you know, it's up to everybody. Every, anybody and everybody can drive the game how they wish. You know, if, if you abuse something and you are on the borderline of whether it's next play or not, don't don't be if um, don't feel offended if people call you out on it because in reality, people will call people out on using um, new ways to exploit the game. It's like uh, um, Psyker showed a picture. He didn't name the driver, just said, this is how much you can cut um, of the chicane at Suzuka. And again, he's, he, he feels it cuts too much. That's his opinion. He's allowed to have that opinion. Uh, I'd agree with him with the picture that he, he, he sent. But again, the game allows you to do it. So a driver will abuse, um, or some drivers will abuse that as much as possible because it's currently allowed in the rule book you have been given, basically. Alright, let's go. So the Subaru driver behind wants to use my slipstream. We're still pulling away here. Yeah. 
Oof, that was on the limit. On the very limit there. Wow, 0 0.6 to me. Messed a part of that up as well. Okay, I'm happy with that lap. That's a very good banker lap there. And we messed some corners. We got a 0.2 in sector one. Some corners were messed up. Our, our fast left was very much on the limit uh, there. Oh, cheers, Doctor. Nice to see you, mate. It's been a while. Yeah, I suppose one of the critical things that you really shouldn't do is call somebody out on something and then to go and do it yourself. That is so bad for doing that. Um. um, the fuel burning not so much, I don't think. Um, I didn't really hear people complaining about it from memory initially. I think people more complained about it because it was basically wasting everyone's time. It was a pointless exercise. You basically just sat there for nine minutes burning fuel and then got your one lap in. So it was more like, well, why does fuel, why does fuel exist in the first place then, sort of thing. Because if it, if it, you know, if you're doing that every time, you add, you add up the amount of time you spend burning fuel. Suddenly that adds up to a day, a week, a month, and suddenly it's, it's, it's a lot of time. And I would argue that, you know, that's too much. Alright, so we're going to get this on. I didn't want slipstream. Good, I don't have it. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's terrible. I'm still up, even though that was terrible. Poor Crease is gone. Oh, I'm gone now. <laughs> that, that's all I've got to do now. I just got to push the limit to it. Yeah, I never, I never heard somebody complaining about fuel burning to an individual. Um, I think Lewis was one of the first to do that. Oh, Miro with a good lap there, point four. Dayron, my word. I remember Dayron. Yeah, I've got to push the limits now to um, get close to that uh, NSX because this isn't the fastest car here by any means but a point four is still doable by us so we've plebbed quite a few sectors here Ferrari driver decides he wants to go rally crossing right, let's get a good start to lap To be fair, I used hybrid tyres for quite a while on the FF cars. That was terrible. Should 
Shouldn't have changed gear to fourth. Oh my word, I'm on a point three. Sector one, a point three. It's horrendous. So I did that on purpose. I wanted to just absolutely blitz that just so I can go out again. Because we've got time here to uh, do another lap. We're in a good position though, P2 at the moment. Just need to uh, stay there. So hopefully we can now get a decent lap. Like our first set has been horrendous initially here. We should be uh, in the point ones. As I say, we were getting point one quite a few times just before. So, I mean, there's a tenth quite easily off the bat. Yeah, the handbrake could be used at the hairpin. I don't think it'll be used anywhere else. So, what we had in GT Academy 2013 was a spam presser handbrake, uh, and obviously that would obviously rotate the car more. So that was being used on every corner, basically. Any corner where you're waiting to accelerate. So I just made sure that I was trail braking um, quite a lot and getting the rotation that way. Um, but you know, um, there were there were people there that were using the handbrake, and there was a big argument back in the day about it. And that, yeah, I just didn't get involved with that. I was like, I did say that it it shouldn't be on. Well, what's that guy doing? Um, it doesn't really matter, pad or wheel. It doesn't matter. It's quite easy to see, just spam it. Spam the button. Oh, I changed to fourth again, you muppet! That's that over. Look at that. What ah what a terrible set to one that is. We'll see what we can do just to end the lap, but I need to stop that bad habit. Changing gear in the real wrong place. Oh not quite. Oh very annoying when you've got a bad habit in your head like that. Just changing gear to fourth. I need to stay in third. But but they're not they're not drifting rapid. All it does is rotate the car and because it's uh, a downforce car. So the, the critical thing with that car, the X twenty nineteen, is you need to accelerate when your steering is straight. So I suppose the handbrake is even more useful on that car because you literally handbrake it. You're straight. You plant your foot, and as long as your steering stays absolutely centre. You will not oversteer left or right. The car will just go forward and you will like, bomb it away, basically. Yeah, it was lucky I got that first strong lap in. But, uh, yeah, that, that's why it's being used. Um... Nah, you, don't, you need to get. Uh, so, uh, Mitchy, there's been point ones today, apparently. I can definitely get a point four in this car. Like, uh, if I'd have practiced more for this race, point four, very much there on the cards. Um, I haven't practiced for this race, so literally, I I'm happy with point six anyway. Hey, Tage, what's the strat? Um, the strat is soft tyres for between 15, 16, and 21 laps, and then medium for the rest, basically. Yeah, shifting. I don't. Some cars, it, it's fine, but this car. So this car, you are meant to short shift a little bit, which is probably why it's stuck in the back of my head, subconsciously. Um, I need to make sure I stay in third. Uh, Titek didn't enter. Didn't enter. Um, so. Uh, um, Titek's still doing the Ferrari esports series, I think. 
But uh, we've got Fuvaros in there, who I said, I said Storm. I was, I did, I, I actually forgot about Parata to be fair. So Parata being in there isn't a surprise. Uh, so that's Parata, Storm, um, Fuvaros, and then the person who surprised me a little bit actually, and I, I don't know why, is Spider. Um, I didn't expect Spider to go for it, and Spider's doing awesome in it to be fair. Uh, oh, Wi-Fi code, you legend! Thank you so much, mate. Play this of your bangers. Oh, I didn't see that right now. I can certainly do that. You can do some Nightbot commands. Uh, Sutsu's already qualified, so that's why Sutsu's not doing it. Um. Uh, I knew. I sort of had a feeling Mura would try it, but I imagine Mura sees the handbrake and goes, "Forget this." Uh, Mura, I have a lot of respect for in the fact that. If he thinks something is absolutely crap or, or stupid, he just won't do it. He won't do it. And I have full respect for that. Full respect for that. Um, so, uh, who else is up there? Manu Rodri, I thought, had already qualified, so I'm surprised to see Manu Rodri has to do it. Um, oh, an interesting one that's uh, doing it is L Shooter. Now, L Shooter is a Rapido. Rapido. Uh, yeah, Mura. I, I think Mura did the point eight, and then probably realised how funky the combo is and decided against it. Uh, Manu was tied for 12, but SVDR got the spot. Right, okay, that makes sense then. That makes sense. I wasn't sure what happened there. So, SVDR's first event. You know, fair play, SVDR. We'll be interested if Mikhail can get P1. Um, I think Lightning would find it hard. The fact L Shooter's not number one, that says to me, the times that are being produced at the front are ridiculously strong. So, like, you know, L Shooter is known for just absolutely unbelievable. Like, I remember I was caught trying to get a world record somewhere. Um, and I could see my, I could see the maximum lap I could get. And I had the record for like two or three days, I think it was. And l Shooter came along and got the exact lap I could see. I was like, oh, it's gone then. I ain't getting that anytime soon. So, yeah. Um, Miro uh, was MGM, I think. Mikhail won't do it, though. No, he's, he's very busy studying, to be fair, to Mikhail. And he wants the manufacturer series, I imagine. Mario, you legend. Thank you so much. Good luck and have fun. I will try my best. Did I feed the squirrels this time? Yes, hopefully. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I mean, to be fair, I only had a quick go at the nation's time trial. Uh, I got a point three, and I was fairly happy with that. So I could, I could have, I could have gone um, quicker. I could definitely get in the in the in the thirty eight. Uh, I don't see myself getting a thirty eight six at all. Uh, I'd, have, I'd have been just in the thirty eight, I imagine. Uh, but I don't know, because I didn't fully try it, did I? So I can only go off what I, I believe. Am I pro? Um, no, I don't do it for a living. Which is what I'd constitute as pro. But uh, I have been to... I'm the second... I'm second on world tours, basically, behind Fuvaros. Which is an achievement, I guess. I've only missed one. One event. Oh, nearly. I don't want to fight too much because I don't, I don't want this to become like a three or four way fight. I just want it to be a 1v1, which we've got a slipstream now, which is good.
That was a terrible turn one. I don't know what I was doing there. Yeah, he's he's under a little bit of pressure there from me, but that's good. I know Mira always likes to have a good race with me, so we'll see what happens. Oh, he's getting so close to that. I'm going to try and over-rev the car as well, burn a bit more fuel. Get the oversteer, Titchy Pleb. Didn't want to do that. It's good luck by Miro. Koke was a point two as well. Oh, he's very nervous through that left, is Miro. Very, very nervous. Yo, Todd, you okay? Every time, so close. I am indeed. I'd, I'd, I'd more said trumpet. Yeah, he's very nervous through there. Every lap.
Bad last corner by me there. As Miro's been drifting a lot, I'm hoping his tyres are going to be getting more worn than mine. That was his best left today, that. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. I'm in no rush at the moment. Mainly because rushing this just brings P2, uh, P3 into the mix, which I do not want. But it's still good pace so far, this, uh, I think. broke a bit early then. Someone's pled this corner during the race. The brake marker, not where it should be. Fortunately, I don't use that one. Got that bit wrong there. Oh, <laughs> nearly again. I thought I was about to cut it then, so I, I delayed the throttle a little bit. Need to catch up a little bit now. I don't know, this is a weird line. I, I, don't, I don't quite understand that line there. But uh, yeah, whatever floats your boat. That was terrible by me. I'm too, I'm too busy concentrating on Miro here. Oh, nearly fold him off. Nearly fold him off.
Nearly brought the slipstream then. I want more power. Somebody who's on the medium tire for quite a while there. Oh, I'm not used to the dirty air. Uh, sorry, not having dirty air, I mean. I was expecting more, <laughs> more understeer. I was like, where's the understeer gone? It stopped. Oh, Benton, you legend! Tishney! Benton! You okay, mate? I'm assuming you've already raced today. I saw your name on the... on the board. Just again, mate. Legend, thank you. Oh, no, that's a penalty! I've just got a penalty there, just. Oh no, I survived it. How did that? That is on the limit. Holy moly. Oh, he's still working. Oh no. That sucks. How wide was that? Look at the look at the uh, map. Yeah, I knew I did that. The minute I turned in, that's why I corrected instantly. We've got a GTR catching us now as well. This Subaru is not good in the second half of this race. Or this stint, should I say? just does not want to turn as well. So I'm going to benefit from an earlier stop here, I imagine. Stelios is in already as well. Need to over rev the car here just to burn off some more fuel. Miro cer certainly on the limit.
Oh no, too deep. Brought it back a little bit. Well, I was just I wish I was in the Audi. <laughs> Let me buy back in my Audi. Just losing out now. Understood. Oh, oh my word, I nearly went off. I think Miro nearly went off there as well, but I nearly went off more. <laughs> Tell Bledge belting up now. Well, my best left today. Or one of them. Oh, too deep. Thought I was going to cut it, I had to lift a little. Tidge, you pleb. Oh, too deep again. Making too many mistakes here now. Godzilla's chasing me down! Ah! No catfish. Second half of this stint has been atrocious. I need more brake balance in the rear, I think.
Yeah, I was going to come in as well. Oh! Tough, tough, tough. Second after that stint. Really was. This car was uh, understeering just a little bit more than I wanted it to. That's why I like MRs. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job so far. Miro's been right on the limits, to be fair. I need to get used to these mediums again. Oh, car turns. I have, I have, I have a blessed understeer. Woohoo! Oh no, too deep. I went too deep. Oh, sorry, Miro as well, I think. Mean. Oh, the car turns again now. Just double checked I put mediums on then. That was well too aggressive. Well, well, well too aggressive. That cost me time there because I think Miro made a mistake as well. Better. Screw. That was why did I, why, why did I go to third? I'm actually bottling this. I'm literally bottling it at the moment. My word, what a horrendous lap that was. Twenty-one four. Oh my word. Very strong through there, my word. I have to be careful, if that GTR even remotely gets close, I'm done for because it's going to just overtake me as if I'm standing still.
That was a good left. Oh, stop the car. Thought I'd gone too deep again. Well, I did go deep, but I thought I'd cut it. That cost me time. I'm getting this corner wrong every lap. Right, back up to 1.3. That's where we want it to be. Caught it, caught it, caught it, caught it. Oh, tense, 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 enter the night. That's in it, blame it, act. Oh, I got that wrong. Oh, I had to adjust then. Oh, my word. That was sketchy as hell. GTR struggles out that corner. That's one thing I'm going to remember. We've extended the gap there. Pretty good lap in the grand scheme of all, all my medium laps, my word.
too deep. Well, a good win by Miro there. I thought he was going to lose it a couple of times during all of that. And then in the second half of that race, I thought I was going to pleb it a couple of times, to be honest. Oh, my word. Oh, yeah, good effort there. Good effort. And Adam, birthday podium for you there, mate. Legend. Yeah, I started plebbing it up. So, literally, I came out of mediums and I was like, okay, this is not going too bad. And then, literally, I don't know why. I just started making mistakes, so I went to third gear on a couple of corners when I should be in fourth. And then it came back to me at the end, which is why I then started picking up the pace again a little bit. Which is why my laps dropped from a 21.3 down to a 20.8 again. So, yeah, I was just playing it. I was just practice, you know, having very little practice. So, uh, when I obviously get into it, it's like, okay, yeah, now I know what I'm doing sort of thing. But, uh, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Happy days. Jojo did a 47 race time in slot one. Ooh, wow, that is uh, some effort, that. Don't think the Subaru's got the pace for this circuit, if I'm honest. Um, I don't know, it just struggles on top end, so... Yeah, and I, I'd say I've been I've been practicing with the Audi, like, and doing daily race C for, you know, quite a bit. So jump into this from the Audi is uh, actually quite different. Yeah, good effort, Miro. I thought you were—I thought you were going to lose it a couple of times in that one. I really did. Uh, you were so much on the edge, especially at the start. Especially at the start. Um, yeah, Cockbun did it even quicker in a Volkswagen uh, Beetle, didn't he? In the Beetle. Uh, Miro and Blah. Blasphemy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I'd have practiced a bit more, we'd have had more of a fight with Miro there. Um, but, yeah, good result. Happy days. Job's, job's a good one. Job is a good one. 3.12 was actually an improvement on the race before as well, so we didn't actually lose anything from jumping to this one. Oh, and our DR went up again. We've gained 1.6k tonight. Happy days. Oh, good night, Be Racing One, absolute legend. Almost outscored me too. Jesus, what? <laughs> My tyres suffered. Ah, yeah. Um, I struggled with understeer at the end, so obviously you'll have been struggling with oversteer, Miro. There, uh, I imagine. I think I should have gone plus two, maybe on the brake balance. I think I was on plus one. I mean, it was much better than the first race where I was on zero. I was really struggling um, at the end of the first stint, so. You know, obviously a bit more practice and I'd have figured that one out. Um, but yes, this is what we've been actually doing. Um, is uh, we're up here. Uh, we could definitely beat that time. I could definitely see a, a 54.6. Uh, and I, I, I said that on, on day one, minute one of the video to Consta. I said I could see a, a 54.6. Um, it's just getting my speed up again. As I said, I've not really tryharded that much this year. So I've lost a bit more speed than I normally would. Because normally I'd try hard a little bit of the FIA stuff. And I haven't this year. Uh, I did for like three rounds I think. Which was... But then I still had to work at the same time. So I, I, it wasn't exactly proper try hard like I would normally do. So um, yeah. Is B-Racing the present tense cousin? Uh, it's it's B-Racing. It's, it's B-Racer's Dutch cousin. <laughs> it's not really. Uh, yo Daniel you Okay. So how's that Subi working out for you so far? I mean, to be fair, we are doing all right. It's not like the end of the world sort of thing. Um. Oh yeah, I'm just, uh, point rankings. So like, amongst my friends list. Uh, oh, I'm right behind Creaser there. So oh, we've gone to five results now. That's interesting. So I've got a two, four, nine there that I could quite easily improve on. 
Suzuka Group 4. Oh, we're not going to be that good there. Cause it's about... It's more about top end a little bit at the moment. It's more power track at the moment, it's Suzuka. Mainly because of the... Um, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this lot. Boom. TT up there. What tyres is it, actually? Softs, mediums, and hard. Ooh, I'm assuming. Do we have to use all of them, then? Just the medium and hard. Whoa, that's an even killer one, that. Don't know, then. Don't know. We should maybe be able to improve it. I like Suzuka. So, obviously, we will give it a will. But uh, I am going to... So, there will be a try-hard stream. I did originally say it would be uh, on this. Uh, where is it? See, I did originally say it would be on this, but I did also say that if the minute they use handbrake, I won't do it. And I sort of guess they would eventually get anyway do that. So, um, yeah. Oh my word, Parat has improved again, gone to a point three. <laughs> now that, that is mental. That, that is that. Look, look at, look at who he's beating by two temps. Uh, yes, there will be Thomas. Uh, it'll be next week. Uh, I did good, mate. I did good. Got P2. But that that is ridiculously fast. He's beating Fulveros by two temps. And look at the names he's beating. Storm, Igor, who's jumped up a bit further. I think he's, Igor's just done that time, I think. Because Igor was down here before. I'm pretty sure he's, Igor's just done that. Um, should we have a look at the, uh, the old replay before we go? That is a, a serious, serious serious time that um, so our point three was after uh, it was an hour I got a point five in three laps and then uh, I got a point three an hour later I think it was an hour later can't remember now I'd say I can definitely get in the 38 I'll, uh, there's, I'm not getting a 38 three in a month for Sundays that is bonkos perfect lap I think we'll have a look at it see you Phil thanks for tuning in mate Let's wait for it to load. Let's have a look at this lap. Let's just see how perfect this lap actually is. Oh, how late on the brakes! My word. So I was dropping to third here. Oh, right, okay, so he does that as well. Oh, he goes back to fourth. Oh, that's interesting. I stayed third. To second. Wow. Really using the gear shifts uh, for an, uh, a good advantage. Let's do flat Degna one. Oh, slight lift. Wow, he stops the car so well. There's a little bit of a handbrake, we all saw that, but at the end of the day, I'd say it's available to Parata, so why not use it? You know, at the end of the day, other people are using it as well, so I, I'm just looking at his lap, how good this lap actually is. Oh, look at the trail braking on, on the first part of Spoon. Oh, quick shift to four, interesting, getting the grip there, that's interesting. Use the hammer. Does he? I've not actually noticed. I might have to rewatch that again. That is a superb lap, though. Look at the oversteer step. Look at that control at the very end there. That is one hell of a lap. That is, that is ridiculously good. I mean, even just sit, just just first corner there is the, how late he breaks. Really using the gears. That's one of the things that's critical in GT Sport is the gears. You know, using them to uh, rotate the car a little bit. That is beautiful. Look at that. I don't see the handbrake. The handbrake's not been on once yet, unless I'm blind. It's, it's here he puts it on, but that's, I'd say it's available. But there's, you can quite clearly see that there. I 
end of sector two. Yeah, he only uses it in the hairpin. That's the only place I've seen it. But as I say, I, we had this discussion earlier. You know, uh, some people won't like it. Some people will like it. Um, the the tool is there. It's available to be used. You know, if you don't want to use it, don't use it. Use it if you want to use it. Like we all knew that the handbrake would be um, an available tool. Um, that is just that is stunning. That is that is amazing. We all we all knew it was going to be available. It was what it mentioned before it even started. So if you put the effort in, knowing that handbrake's probably going to be a thing, and you don't like it, that in the, in effect is your own fault to some extent. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, I, it, it's no way near as bad as GT Academy 2013 where it was a spam of it. So. Like, you do uh, Brooklands and then Luffield. So Luffield, it was a spam of handbrake for some people. Really, just keep dabbing it slightly. It was like bang, 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 bang. Get round sort of thing. Yeah, it's once in the lap. I don't see it being a massive thing in the grand scheme of it there. I, I have no issues. Uh, how far am I off the pace? Uh, well, I'm a second off there. But, uh, as I say, I've, I've not, I only did it once. I only had a quick go at it basically I didn't really try hard or anything I'm actually pretty happy with that time to be honest for a quick go um, I mean when I first started I was like I'll just get a 39 and I, I hit a 39.5 as I say on lap 3 or 4 uh, a 39.5 and then I spent an hour I think it was then getting to 39.3 so yeah I was, uh, I was I'm pretty pleased with that lap in the grand scheme but I can get in the 38 so I have no doubts about that um, I could definitely get in there but I'm not going to put the effort in just to do that. I, you know, I don't see. I don't see the point in doing that, if that makes sense. Uh, so there I am, woohoo! Um, but the one I am try hard in, of course, is uh, daily racing, which I'll probably jump on again tomorrow. I'll give it uh, an hour or so, just see if I get back up to speed, and then uh, I'll do a stream, a try hard stream at some point for you folks, where you can actually see me try and go for and see if I can beat B racer. Uh, top NA driver then was uh, Stagger, I think. 38.9. Uh, can you see P2's lap? Yeah, we can have a look at P2's lap. Sorry, I uh, wasn't reading. Yeah, I'll have a look at P2's lap. Um, that's Fulveros now, isn't it? Now, Fulveros wasn't in the top four initially and now is. He he's rapid as well as Fulveros. Absolutely rapid. I like Fulveros as well because he just goes for it on track. And, like, he's proper smart about stuff as well, which is, like, I like, basically. <clears throat> oh, Trismal Lester was 26. Sorry, I missed Trismal Lester. Apologies if uh, Trismal Lester was higher. Oh. Look at this lap from Fuveros. He's done far less mileage. Look at Fuveros' mileage. It's only 800 mileage. Oh, he nearly, he nearly ran wide there. How did he pull that back? Interesting. Very different gear choices. Is anyone noticing this? Very different gear choices. He went to fifth at one point. So he's doing what I did. I stayed in third there. Very different gear choices. So Parata's very much using the gears to rotate the car, get the car stopped a little bit more. There's been a little bit of less of a lift than Parata, I think. There. Yeah, a little dab of the handbrake as well. It's interesting how the gear selection there was very different. Fulveros was driving very much how I drive in terms of gearing. I wouldn't have gone to fifth where he did, but I'd have stayed in fourth. Uh, and then I, I dropped to third. Uh, he stayed in fourth. Maybe he's just carrying that little bit more speed where that's what's needed. I don't know. It's 
Take out the uh, the chicken here. How did he get that rotated so well? Look at the the exit of that corner is mental. Oh, I wanted to have a look then. Yeah, Parata does absolutely like nail it. Um, should we? Uh, we'll, well, we'll look at Storms then. Look at that one thousand. Oh, that's the other thing, isn't it? Where's the European times? Oh no, Spider's there. Uh, I was going to say Spider and Manu Rodri earlier tonight. I think we're point six seven zero and point six seven one. Spider's obviously improved here, but uh, let's have a look at Storm one thousandth behind Fivoros. Did Ferrari use handbrake? Uh, we can have a look in a second. We'll have a look at the top five laps. We'll just see what everyone's doing differently. But definitely a different set between um, Parata and Fuvaros. 100% a, a big difference. Uh, in terms of gearing as well, gear selection. I didn't actually have a look at the sector times there. Uh, I mean, Fuvaros messed up sec uh, turn one uh, a little bit. So I, I'd argue that will cost him some time anyway. But um, I prefer the way Fuvaros drove sector one to Parata. Oh, obviously, Pratt is ranked one, so. See you, Henry, for tuning in, mate. And cheers. Glad we got P2 in the end, the podium. Now, Stor Storm's driving exactly how I drove there. I didn't, I didn't go to fifth, so Storm's driving how I drove. I never went to second here, though. I can see why you would do it. Oh, so Storm's doing a mixture of both Fuvaras and uh, Parata. Very interesting. See, a much bigger lift there for Storm than um, Fuvaras. Much bigger lift. Was he carrying more speed? I don't know. That short shift, so that was costing me time there, I think. Because I stayed in third, and I was, it was a bit awkward. Uh, I very much felt that at the, end, at the exit of Spoon when I did it. Oh, still not like that, the, the exit of that one. That, that cost Storm P2, that I think, so far. Yo, Luco. Let's have a look at this one. Who's next? So, oh, it's Igor next. Let's have a look at Igor. Now, Igor's very, very, very good in, in these kind of cars. Like, dominant good is Igor. And I don't, I don't think Igor's been playing that much lately, so uh, potentially probably won't get rank one, but he's normally so good in these it's, it's ridiculous to watch a, a live event when he goes properly on it it's like amazing has Mick done it yet? no I don't think Mick's doing it because of studying and stuff Very interesting. Just looking at the gears and what they're using. Very interesting. Who is top Brit? Uh, Norcia, I think. Oh wow! Igor does that. Degna won the best. My word! Did you see that? Did you see that? What I'm watching that again. Look at this. It's like hardly a lift. Look at that. Oh, that's the fastest Degna one we've, we've got. But it 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 doesn't help Degna 2 there. I think he cause he has to slow down more for Degna 2. Because he's carried so much more speed. Oh now that that's the best handbrake we've seen. Igor nailed that. Igor nailed that handbrake. The others sort of like use it and it sort of drifts and then sticks. Igor properly got it round then.
lovely and smooth though there. You can see, see this is the thing, when you really go out a time trial like this, this is where the best drivers come out because they're properly smooth on the throttle and brake. You can really see it. I'd love to see how Eagle exits the chicane actually. I reckon Eagle will be the smoothest. I'm saying it now. I've not seen it yet. Let's see. Oh no, no he wasn't to be fair. One of the smoothest, but not the smoothest. Fair play Eagle. What a lap. Absolutely nailed the handbrake though on that one. I mean that was the best nailed handbrake. Um, we'll have a look at L Shooter. Oh, I can't watch L Shooter's lap. I'd love to watch L Shooter. We'll have a look at Spider. We'll have a look at Spider and Dojo and then we'll stop there because that's... The we've got... I mean, look at this. You know, we always say EME... E EME... E EME? E EMEA is the most competitive. <laughs> five. The top five. <laughs> four are EMEA. <laughs> it's just... It's bonkers. Uh, that, okay, let's play replay. Yeah, Igor's properly good in those cards. So I have like full respect for Igor, especially what he's doing in the real world as well. Yeah, Pira Pira uh, well, the way Parata drove as well is is good. Like you can see, he properly nailed that. Lap. Like that, he's properly on the curbs and using the curbs as well. A lot of people won't spot that, but even the slightest additional bit of grip is going to benefit you so much. Lots of mileage on this car for Spider. Right, Spider's definitely nailed another sector here, because his sector one isn't the greatest, I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think Spider's sector one there is as good as uh, other people's. So I'm interested to see what else he does on this lap here. That's how I drove Degma 2. That's how I did it. Because I was scared of... Um, oh, wow! Oh, that's a good handbrake. That is a really good handbrake. I'm going to watch that one again. That's a really good one. Look at this. So he, he gets it initially um, rotated a little bit and then uses the handbrake to get the additional bit. It's where the others were gripping and then sort of understeering off. He'd already basically done the corner at that point. That's very good. So that's where Spider gains a bit of time, I think. Good exit out of there. Really good exit out of Spoon. Yo, Amar, well, you okay, mate? So second gear, other people were using first there. Oh wow, the best exit of the chicane there as well. You know, hardly any movement in the car. Well played Spider, that's a good lap. His sector one I think is a bit iffy. I could be wrong with that, I haven't taken note of sector times. It looked the most iffy, but the rest of the lap is superb. Uh, right, Dojo Racing Shun, right, the last one. Oh, you alright Lars, you okay mate? Yo, Roland. So Spider's definitely done the best at the um, the, ham the handbrake turns. There. Really nailed it to perfection. Eagle was up there as well. The others, I don't think, quite nailed it personally. Um, they've like, as I say, it's like they use it and it sort of just grips and like a weird understeer, like a floaty understeer. Whereas Igor and Spider, it really properly gets round a little bit and fires them out of that corner. Be interested to see if the handbrake's being used in Asia as well. I'm assuming it will be. No second gear. That's interesting. That's different to everybody else. No third gear drop there either. Really trying to carry that momentum. No second gear as well. Wow, interesting. This is very much different to everybody so far. This is the most like the way I drive. I wasn't using second gear. 
very quick lift. Third gear again. This is the way I said I did it. He's oh, he's well up there, I think. No handbrake. No handbrake. So that's why he's, I'm pretty sure he's well up there, his Dojo Racing Shun. He didn't use a handbrake at all there. Wow. I, I think this is a, a, a top lap. I'm gonna I'm gonna check the sector ones there because that that looked rapid to me that sector one. First gear for this one, interesting. Wow, he even accelerated with first gear through. Oh! <laughs> Can I just say that's the best exit of the chicane we've seen, the best, easily the best exit of the chicane. There's no there's no drama. It's literally straight. I don't know how he does the first part, where he stays in first gear for the second part. Properly interesting. Uh, yeah, I know, Lars. It's mental. Let me just unhide that for you, mate. Um, yeah, the amount, the amount of understeer. With, uh, I, 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 I'm very interested now because that first sector looks spot on. Twenty-seven five zero. Was it? I thought it was a point seven. Oh no, second part, the forty-two seven. So it's twenty-seven five zero nine. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Uh, wow, okay, so let, let's, let's keep that in our heads, folks. So 27.5, 15.2. Let's just go back to uh, Parata. 27.5, 15.2. I've not seen you in a while, Lars. <laughs> You've abandoned me. Are you like 57 at Suzuki yet, mate? <laughs> uh. The way Prata does turn one here is mental. Beautiful. You moved to iRacing. Yeah, well, I don't know if you watched my iRacing video, Lars. I did get told that you were spying on me in my Ferrari race. Twenty-seven four. So um, the Japanese driver was twenty-seven five. And then the Japanese driver did the second sector quicker. So Parata does the first sector. I, I I think that's right, to be fair. Parata absolutely nails sector one, if I'm honest. I, I don't see anyone improving that. Well, you've seen your carnage races. No, I'm on about the one where I dominated. You were watching that. I know you were, because Alegna told me. Uh. But yeah, th this, uh, this handbrake, I don't think Parata nails this. I think there's more time in it. Because he it, it, it sort of has to stop. Whereas if you want, look at Spider and Igor, they properly get it round. Properly get it round. So I, there's more time in that sector. I'm sure of it. Absolutely sure of it. So there's probably going to be... If somebody goes absolutely goes for it, there's probably going to be a point two in there, you know. A point two is probably possible there. And that would be like the limit limit. The proper limit. But yeah, I mean, whew, there's some big names here, and the fact Parata is two times ahead at the moment is, yeah. Well, when will the stream last for? Well, it's about to disappear in a second. Oh, we're close to a 20 million pound car. I didn't realise. So they will use. Some people will, if the if that is the eventual race. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd say like. As I said, I was I would try hard this if the handbrake wasn't being used. The chances of me qualifying even with the handbrake not being used are very minute because it's not the type of car I like to drive anyway for starters. Um, and obviously the level of the competition is like ridiculous. Like Fulveros, as I say, I've always said there's two people that I 
rate more than more uh, more than anybody else in the EMEA region. It's Fuvaros and Lightning. They're the two. Um, they're the, uh, yeah, they <laughs> if I'm racing them, I'm just like, okay. See your hands up. Uh, Do Dojo, definitely. Yeah, Dojo's. Uh, but you got to remember, Dojo's set to one was slower than Parata's. That's what I mean by that. I was just looking at set to one and two. Um, I, I believe that like if you look at Spider's handbrake, I suspect... Because if, if Parata had Spider's handbrake technique on that one, I think Parata would get a point two there. I definitely see a point two being possible. I just think that you've got to nail the whole lap. Obviously, that's the problem. It's like me in the daily race. Like, I can see a 54.6 quite easily as well. I've been up on B Racer several times by quite a margin. And, you know, on, on every corner I've, I've gained. But the problem is, nailing the lap and putting the lap together is more difficult. So, yeah. In before you just get to point. Yeah, that, imagine, Ryan. That'd be epic. But, uh, yeah, I can, I, can go, I can go quicker than this. I, uh, I, have, no, I have no doubt about that. I think my optimum says a point seven at the moment, but obviously it doesn't do it corner by corner; it does it sector by sector. So, for example, um, I don't know whether my lowest sector one has saved. I got a low point five, and B races in the high point sixes. Um, the sh the hairpin, I've got more time. Uh, the S's, I've got a huge amount of time. Oh my word, the S's! I can, if I nail the S's in that track. Oh my word, there's like, oh. It's ridiculous how much time's there. Obviously, the NSX is a tiny bit quicker at the top end, except when the Audi is at the very high rev range, which is when the Audi is a little bit quicker than the NSX. But the Audi will never get to its top speed, so the NSX actually comes on top on the back straight, if that makes sense. It's very close between those cars uh, in terms of like how they handle and how they work, essentially. So it's actually quite a fair race there between the NSX and the R8. Um, in terms of speed anyway I don't know about handling so much because I've not used the NSX that much but it's an MR car it should handle quite well um, but uh, yeah I, I love the Audi as I say it suits my driving style um, and I, I got that lap as I say I got that straight off the bat Consta was like that's going to be the world record but obviously we've got B race at Nico Rublar is doing it as well uh, obviously I'm going to try again Hurricane could be better. No, the reason the Hurricane can't be better is because in the S's, it's just too oversteery. It, like, you would have to be a god, an absolute god, to nail the S's in the in the Hurricane. So the Hurricane won't beat the uh, the other MR cars there. Likewise, the Ferrari. The Ferrari would be good if it wasn't for the S's. The S's are so fast. Uh, it's just the problem is they cause too much oversteer. So. The R8 and the NSX will be the fastest cars here. The Supra is up there as well. So when I last got... See, I got the world record on this... No. I got the world record on this last time, but the time before that, Igor got it. And Igor was in the Toyota Supra. Uh, he beat me by a tenth. But I think the R8 is a faster car than the Supra here. And Igor's rapid. And I suspect I'm probably... When I did that time, I'm probably, on average, two tenths slower than Igor at, th at that time. Um, now I'd be probably three or four tenths slower. I'm trying to build that speed up again. You see, that's that's my problem. I haven't tryharded that much, so I'm down on um, on pace at the moment from where I normally am. Yeah, the the RSC01 used to be good here. Uh, what size is your shed? About seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I don't know. Maybe seventeen foot wide and. This is probably three meters that way. So what's that? Whatever, three meters by probably four or five meters, I think. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But uh, yeah, expect. So I will do a try hard stream where you can watch me actually try hard some time trialing. Um, I might not necessarily be speaking or or looking at chat, but you'll be able to tune in, watch me time trial and you know go through my go through uh, my head what I'm doing so for example um, I noticed so I started following B Racer's ghost and I noticed very quickly he was cutting one of the corners a lot more than I was doing so I started cutting that corner now and I can see another attempt in it so 
Uh, LZR teaching you, teaching you, teaching you can't, I can see it now. I'm not going to do that. Uh, a, a lot of people try their hardest to get in the top 10, so uh, it's a bit greedy of me to have two in here, but I accidentally, I didn't mean to set that lap time, which is why I then had to again go on this and actually try and beat it. That's a flat. It is massive. It, this, this, so for those that don't know, this is going to be a gym as well as the gaming room. So the, the gym will be behind me. There's going to be a treadmill. Um, a, there's going to be a bike, a treadmill, a weight, um, my weight area. There's also going to be some artwork on the wall. A cab, uh, a trophy, not a trophy cabinet per se, but uh, half... How can I explain this without spoiling something? Something plus the trophies that I've got in GT. Um, and yeah, and then when I eventually expand the house, which I'm eventually doing in probably five years from now, uh, the, the office is then going to go over there. So it'll be a gap, what I'm hoping for, if I had planning permission before, so I'm hoping to get it again, is a garage, which then has a small office behind, which is obviously where all this will go. But the dream, to get the dream here folks stream the rating what's behind me Audi R8 that's the goal so uh, yeah McLaren's good here um, Lightning used it in one of the seasons Lightning absolutely dominated a race here actually in the McLaren uh, the problem is the understeer because you need to get rid of the understeer for the S's the S's is the critical part it's where the lap times gained and lost basically you can gain so much there and lose so much as well. But I mean, Consta's in it there. So, 55-4. I mean, if Consta tryharded a bit more, maybe he could get up here into the point zeros. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Gary Hornet's done it. The Audi R8 in chat. Why there are two Tijnies? Because I do the dailies on that one. Uh, and then I sort of did the race. And then I was like... Oh, I'm going to time trial this. And then kind of instantly forgot that was on the Tijni account. So I did that. I can't remember how fast I did that. I did that relatively quickly, the 55-0. And then I sort of was like, oh, crap, I'm on Tijni. Um, so then I was like, I need to do it on my actual eSport account. So then it took me two days to get to that. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I'd say I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try hard this bit more. I enjoy this combo. It's very addictive, this combo. So I'm not going to jump on it now. Good night, John. Keep her lit. I will try. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's going to be it for tonight's stream, folks. Uh, um, oh, I'll show you my daily mileage, by the way, because this is pretty mental. I'd say I've been tryharding lately. So that's 450 miles at the top. So I did 18th. What day was that? Sunday. No? Monday. Sunday? Monday. Today's Wednesday. Hang on. Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. What did I do on Sunday? What on earth did I do on Sunday? I don't even know what I did on Sunday. Does anyone remember what I raced on Sunday? I honestly don't remember. I did something on Sunday. Anyway, Monday was obviously when I time trialed, so that's what... 300 miles ish. Uh, I then did, I went into the next day, so I actually did about 400 miles because it did 90 into the next day. Uh, no, it wasn't past midnight, so then I, uh, that one was a, a, a good session. That one was my killer session. I'd say it, it rolled over into the next day, and then th this obviously not as much. So you'll see this probably spike tomorrow, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Depends how I feel. If I, if, I, if I don't feel like I want to play it anymore, I won't play it. But uh, I do feel like I could. Try hard a little bit. Uh, nice shirt anyway. Racing was average, lol. You were legend, Tish. <laughs> Cheers, Callum. Yeah, exactly. I can't remember what I did on the 18th. I, I have no idea. I really have no idea. You know what the crazy thing is? I'm level 45. I'm not even halfway through the leveling process. That's mental. You want a dog? You okay? No, it wasn't new daily practice. Um, I'm trying to think. Did I stream? Did I stream? I'm I'm curious now. Did I stream on that day? Um, I 
Lol, if you saw my mileage. Problem is, I can't find people very easily. Um, when did I last stream? 18th. I didn't stream on the 18th either. How very odd. <laughs> I honestly don't know what. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody been driving on my account? I have no idea. Uh, no, I've, I, well, I haven't. I was meant to be off all week, but I've worked a couple of days so far. I'm ho hopefully not going to be needed tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Uh, right, I am going to disappear now, folks. Um, unless Ryan, Ryan, can I see you on here? Can I find you on here quickly? Ryan, secretly on here. I don't see Ryan. Do not see him. Ray's here. Any good? It's all right. Oh wow, Ryan. Yeah, that's time trial. But uh, yeah, I'm going to disappear now, folks. It has been. Um, been a good one to be honest. We had a couple of good races. Our DRs shot up, which is nice, I guess. Um, I'll try and keep it above 80k, I think, um, and we'll go from there. You're on the nation's leaderboards. Okay, we'll have a quick, oh, we'll have a quick gander at Ryan's mileage, and then I'm going to disappear. But um, if you don't want to wait up for Ryan's mileage, do have a good day. I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow or whether there'll be any content tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I need to get on with the house a little bit, so. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, no, 400 miles. <laughs> Look at that. Whoop, whoop. Um, but yeah, stay safe, folks. I am streaming on Saturday, of course. Uh, and then I'm going to try and do a different video on Sunday. Let me know what you think about the thumbnails, by the way. I've changed the thumbnails. So, uh, you know, uh, let me know on Discord or, or, or whatever it might be or in a comment somewhere. I'm trying to change the thumbnails to interact more with the YouTube dark theme. So that's why the thumbnails may look a little bit weird. But uh, yeah, stay safe, folks, uh, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.